another project for this week. <laughs> Get a proper door handle on here. Walking or closing door handle at least. Oh. It's dark so early at this time of year. You're coming up here for pets, aren't you? <laughs> What's up? You're tired too, aren't you? Hey, is that too, a lot of fetching today? I said too much. It's not very too much, is it? She is slowing down. A lot of people have mentioned that. She turns six on the 20th of this month of December. <laughs> so two weeks. Mm -hmm. but, and she's small, so the uh, snow does slow her down too. But she does love the cold. The heat slows her down more, more than the cold does, more than the snow does. <laughs> You talking? Uh, yeah, people are concerned about her slowing down, but concerned about the amount of fetching she does. And other people are concerned that she <laughs> I don't play enough with her. Anyway, she um, gets exactly the amount of exercise she wants and the attention that she wants and needs. She can't, uh, like if I throw it, she doesn't feel like going, she doesn't go. But typically I don't throw it unless she brings it to me or she hides <laughs> more often than not. So she'll just be lying around with it or just lying down and it's somewhere else and all of a sudden she'll pick it up, put it near me and then hide and then I, you know, when I notice it I throw it. She fetches it a few times and then takes a break. If it was a hunting situation, she's got a high predator instinct so she just fire it up as soon as I get the gun out. Or if she sees birds, she's uh, fired up and right into it, so she doesn't slow down for that. So I'm not concerned as a retriever that she's not being trained properly to do her job. She's more of a companion than a, a working dog for me anyway. But the fact that she does both is a bonus. <laughs> oh. It's dark so early at this time of year. I think it's about 3 30 maybe right now. About an hour and a half till dark, but it's starting to darken too from the little bit of weather coming in. Not much though. A little bit of flurries here and there, but other than that, it's still dry. And I think the whole forecast, I don't think it's calling for any snow at all until next Wednesday. Okay, like other than like a couple sprinkles of rain or flurries. But no accumulation. It's a bonus, like I said, I can get some work done. Uh, so that door handle. I'm also trimming this out more. Like I don't know why I put door stops on the outside. Instead, I'm going to put a full six-inch board, framing that whole thing, and then beef this out even more and take take it out over this uh, this chamfer here. And not sure if I'll see what it looks like because that'll be more massive than the window framing. If it looks out of scale, I'll do the same to the window. But I think tomorrow's project is probably framing or trimming the inside windows and maybe get a door handle on if I can. This wood here, some flat boards, some three quarter inch boards, that's for the breezeway ceiling and, and walls, whatever's, I'm not sure if there's enough in there already, but that would be for that as well, or it'll go down into the cellar. But those 4x4s, four I think, I think I'm probably going to make table legs out of those. See one of them's undersized. I make, make table legs out of those and use those planks that I've got inside as the table top and I can get this porch cleared off and I might store firewood in here I'll keep it off the wall so it doesn't who cares it's not going to be bugs and even the mice are not going to be able to get in anyway through the chinking so anyway maybe I'll keep it off a little bit just for a so the sun can get in here and continue to dry the logs out. 
but yeah, I might fill that whole section of the porch in firewood. It's nice not to have to go randomly get it down there or over there. Uh, so as much as I can get right here, the better. By next year, the outdoor kitchen will be built. Like by next uh, heating season, so next like 2023. The um, amount of firewood I'll, I can keep in the outdoor kitchen will probably be enough for the winter. And then that will become the main entrance. I'll come in through the screened in outdoor kitchen and in through the breezeway all the time. So that's a mud room essentially. So coat racks and uh, shoes and boot storage. Places to dry off with a solid floor, a brick floor, or a stone floor. So you can things can melt in there. And then this entrance will be more like a just to come out onto the porch or a, maybe a summer entrance or something. But even then, it's nice to have the screened in outdoor kitchen as the entrance into the breezeway to keep bugs out of the cabin instead of keeping this door open. Well, I think, well, yeah, I forgot. I'm planning on putting a screen door on here each summer. That main door will be open a lot of the time with a screen door. That will, uh, yeah, i got to keep that in mind when I do that trim because that door has to be able to swing out. Anyway, that'll be open so that we can uh, get the breeze coming out off the, off the metal here and open up back windows and the back window up in the gable. Get a nice breeze coming through all the time. And the uh, the um, breezeway, the mud mudroom windows as well. The fire might be bothering you again, but that's... I'm burning the skeleton, like the bones. Whatever bones I'm not using for, for broth. I'm uh, burning them and then using them as uh, an additive, like the bone meal for the garden. And I'm just gonna, and I'm kind of cooking the meat on the skull, and then I'll put it into a pot of boiling water and get the rest of it, clean that skull up, and then get that hung in the cabin somewhere. Anyway, I think that's it for video for today, though. Do all that cover up the firewood, put things away, make some dinner. Make out, you hungry? <laughs> Alright, alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, good night.